Mats Helgeson, the commander of the Swedish Air Force, said that the Gripen E fighter created by the Saab concern is capable of destroying Russian Su series aircraft. Is it bravado or an accurate assessment of the combat qualities of the Swedish aircraft? The main weapon of Gripen is the adequacy of its creators, the art of cutting off obviously impossible requirements, focusing on real tasks and opportunities. Who said that in order to destroy the deadly Russian Su fighters because of their super maneuverability, stealth technologies are required? Insanely expensive, making the plane worth its weight in gold. And insanely complex as well, which is why stealth planes spend most of their time on the ground. And the Swedes decided to go their own way when creating their Gripen E aircraft. In this video, we will tell you what this path chose and why the arrogant Russia should worry about it. The ancestor of the family, Gripen A, or rather Saab JAS 39A Gripen, began to be mass produced in 1996. JAS is an abbreviation for Jacked Fighter, Attack Attack Aircraft, Spaining Reconnaissance. It was a light multi role fighter, easy to maintain and very reliable. In 30 years of operation, only one person died while piloting it. The Swedish fighter has the lowest accident rate among its peers. Another of its advantages is it can take off and land on short runways, and even just on a highway. For hilly and wooded Sweden with hundreds of lakes, finding enough space for military airfields is a big problem. And the existing ones, as the Swedish military sensibly reasoned, would be quickly destroyed in the event of war. But this aircraft was clearly outdated by the beginning of the second decade of the 21st century. The first F-22 Raptor stealth fighter was already plowing the sky. And most importantly, the Russians had the formidable Su-30 and Su-35 with a variable thrust vector, which allowed them to be very nimble in battle. You could no longer oppose them with the old fighters of the fourth generation. Of course, one could simply buy a NATO aircraft, the same F-35 as other countries of the alliance did. But a country with a military budget of $6.5 billion, even less than Thailand's, decided to have its own modern fighter jet. Moreover, the Swedish military and designers had their own view of what a modern fighter should look like. According to the generally accepted concept, the fourth generation of fighter aviation should be followed by the fifth with a prescribed set of certain qualities. Stealth, supersonic cruising speed, new style avionics, and all this while maintaining the high maneuverability characteristic of generation four. And the only possible solution to meet these goals is the American F-22 Raptor or something like it. But Saab designers have their own opinion on this issue. The Swedes believe that the established set of characteristics for the fifth generation, as well as its technical features, are just ways to achieve the goal. What is the main task of a modern fighter? Survive over the battlefield and win. Hiding in the hope of going unnoticed by the enemy, according to the proud descendants of the Vikings, is not the most effective choice. When creating the Gripen E fighter, the complex parameter survivability was put at the forefront, combining the situational awareness of the pilot with the ability to counter various threats. Be the first to spot danger, bypass the ambush, launch anti-missile defense in time, confuse the enemy, suppress missile homing heads with active jamming, ideally use weapons from the maximum distance without the need to approach the target. Here are the principles that were taken as the basis for the development of Gripen E. The plane turned out to be so outstanding that they even wanted to give it its own name in order to distinguish it from the family of steel Swedish griffins, which began to enter service with the country from the mid-90s. Gripen is translated from Swedish as a griffin, a mythological winged creature with the body of a lion and the head of an eagle, which has sharp claws and unites heaven and earth, good and evil. So what is the Gripen E? The aircraft is made of the duck scheme, which has already become a classic for fighters with a mid-range delta wing. The airframe of the aircraft was created considering the reduction of radar visibility. 30% of the hull is made of composites. The mythological griffin has very sharp claws. The designers of Gripen E made sure that their offspring had claws like a razor. To do this, they brought the number of weapon attachment points to 10, and it can carry missiles of the most diverse types, including those not even produced by NATO countries. The main weapons of the aircraft are MBDA Meteor long-range missiles and Iris-T short-range missiles. The Meteor missile is equipped with a ramjet engine and has a speed of Mach 4 and a range of over 100 kilometers. At the same time, unlike the French Rafals, the Swedish Gripen uses a more advanced Meteor modification with a two-way data exchange channel. The Iris-T missile, thanks to a sensitive homing head and the ability to perform maneuvers with a 60-fold overload, makes it possible to intercept small targets, including anti-aircraft missiles and air-to-air -air missiles fired by the enemy. Considering that Russian Su fighters can maneuver with G-forces up to 8 Gs, they will have a hard time in close combat with Gripen. Almost an eight-fold advantage. No maneuver will save the Russian plane. 
But of course, effective missiles are not the only advantage of this Swedish aircraft against the Russians. Equipped with the modern electronic equipment, Gripen-E provides its pilot with situational awareness at the level of fifth-generation fighters. This is achieved through the application of the following key components. Radar ES-05 Ravon with AFAR, providing the pilot with a larger viewing angle. The radar is installed with the possibility of rotation. Thanks to this, aside from the front view, the pilot can also backward and to the left or right. This is a huge advantage in the case of air combat outside the line of sight to the enemy or when the enemy has a strong air defense and it is dangerous to enter the area of its operation. Also, the aircraft is equipped with an all-angle Skyward G electron optical detection system operating in the thermal range. Its analog is installed on the fifth generation F-35 aircraft. Another component inherent in the fifth generation fighters is a network-centric data exchange system that allows Gripen pilots to monitor the status of other aircraft in their combat group. The status of weapons, the amount of fuel, warning of detected threats, the distribution of targets in battle. This system allows a new tactic to be applied when one aircraft in a group is active. That is, it has a radar and it detects targets. Other aircraft of the group are passive, which drastically reduces the possibility of their detection. At the same time, they can direct their missiles at the targets detected by the active aircraft, thanks to the exchange of data. Also, Gripen E can fully operate in conjunction with not just other similar aircraft, but also with other vehicles of NATO members in the air, on land, and at sea. Artificial intelligence is integrated into the aircraft control system, which along with a widescreen display, facilitates the pilot's decision-making process and provides decisive assistance during operations. Artificial intelligence presents information in a form convenient for the pilot, which makes it much easier for him to solve the tasks of selecting, aiming, and launching weapons, with maximum coordination, with other members of the tactical aviation unit. In other words, if the artificial intelligence considers that one meteor rocket is enough for a certain purpose, then one aircraft from the unit will launch it. Other aircraft will destroy other targets. Two planes will not hit the same target. Another strong trump card of the Swedish fighter is the electronic warfare system. You can list its technical parameters for a long time. Power, which frequencies it uses, and so on. But we better cite one interesting fact. During the exercises, Gripen E managed to quietly land on the right wing of the German Typhoon fighter, all thanks to the electronic warfare system, which suppressed the detection sensors installed on the Typhoon. Of course, in a real battle, no one would land on the wing, but simply destroy the enemy with rockets point blank. Gripen E designers have managed to bring to life another very useful innovation. While developing aircraft avionics, they managed to separate the software necessary for the operation of various systems from the software that is critical for the flight. This makes a simple update of the necessary software possible, without the need for recertification, as Gripen E systems are upgraded. And this in turn dramatically reduces the cost of operating the machine over its entire service life. Also, this solution allows countries that operate the Gripen E to flexibly customize the aircraft's avionics to suit their needs. The developer says that the Gripen E allows users to fight on the first day of the conflict, learn and adapt software applications to provide a combat advantage on the second day. The new Gripen is heavier than its predecessor, the Gripen JAS-39A. Its takeoff weight is 16 tons, but it can carry 40% more fuel. The increase in weight did not affect the dynamic qualities of the aircraft, since it has a different engine. Gripen E uses an American-made F414 engine, GE-39E modification. The F414 is considered a new development based on the YF120 engine, which was created for the fifth-generation YF23 fighter. It was a rival to the YF-22, which then evolved into the F-22 Raptor. But according to experts, the engine for the YF-23 is superior to the F-22 engine. Compared with its predecessor F-404, the pressure ratio of the F-414 compressor has been increased from 25 to 30, and the engine thrust has increased by 30%. In afterburner mode, the Gripen E engine creates a thrust of about 6 tons, and on afterburner, all 10, with the engine's own weight being around 1 ton. No plane had such parameters a quarter of a century ago. And in terms of the ratio of specific thrust to air consumption, even today it is the absolute world record holder. Thanks to the F414, the Gripen E cruising speed in non-afterburner mode exceeds the speed of sound and is 1.1 million. Obviously, the Swedes see no problem in using American engines. Sanctions and embargoes do not threaten them. Otherwise, these are the best engines for combat aircraft on the world market. But if the new Gripen E differs sharply in its combat capabilities from its predecessors in the Griffin family, then in terms of ease of operation, it inherited proprietary features. The Gripen E can operate in extreme climates and from dispersed and unprepared road bases or airstrips. It takes less than 20 minutes with limited ground personnel and equipment to refuel and re-equip the Gripen for airborne flight, allowing for rapid re-engagement. 
With low maintenance requirements per flight hour, the gripe in ease spends less time on the ground and more time in the air. We do not yet have data on the cost of one hour of flight for the Gripen E, but for example, the same figure for its predecessor, the Gripen JAS 39A, is $4,700, which is half that of its closest competitor, the single engine F 16. So here's a Swedish hello to Russia. Proud Vikings will oppose the SU fighters with artificial intelligence, powerful and fast missiles, instant and accurate coordination with their other aircraft and other weapons, thanks to a network centric data exchange system, a stunning electronic warfare system the ability to quickly adapt avionics to the current situation, and quick preparation for flights. While the Russian Su-35 or Su-57 will make one sortie, the Swedish nimble but painfully stinging fighter will perform three. To date, 96 new Griffins have already been ordered, 60 ordered by the armed forces of Sweden, and 36 by Brazil. Despite the fact that Gripen E was born in an era when stealth fighters are spreading around the world, it offers its own solution to the problem of conquering the sky, at a much lower cost. Yes, against the background of massive twin-engine Sioux, the Swedish fighter does not look very convincing, but we have shown you that this is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and who will be stronger in battle will only be seen in battle. One thing is clear, the Russians need to take the Gripen E very seriously.